Hey, hey, how's it going? How's it going? Mr. Deadman of the Deadman's Tome podcast, renamed Hard Talk Radio, and also of Deadman's Tome. We publish creepypasta at hard, deadmanstome.net. Okay, we got to talk about this peace deal between PPP and Ethan Ralph. PPP and Godwinson and Ethan Ralph, they're making a peace deal, ladies and gentlemen. The war on the gunt is over. I mean, it's, I'm still going to laugh at him from time to time. I am. But why is this happening? Is it all kayfabe? Is it fake? Let me know in the comment section what you think about that. Um, I mean, it's definitely real in that it's it's actually reacting. People like Monday and Matt have uh, reacted to it. <laughs> Jarbo is saying, uh, what, what the F? WTF is this Ralph 1 crap. LMAO. Godwin's insane. You're on your own. You're on your own, Jarbo. Peace has been broken. You never thought there'd be peace in the Middle East. Never thought there'd be peace in this gun war. It's happening. It has happened. Or is it all kayfabe? Is it 4D chess? It could be that as well. It could be. I mean, what, what was the what was the goal? The overall goal of Duncan on Ethan Ralph was it to burn him and destroy him, get him deplatform of D Live? Was it to have everyone in the gun guard crumble and fall of, and, and turn on Ethan Ralph? Hmm. If it was the first one, that hasn't been achieved yet. But it's still in the works. I mean, Ethan Ralph is going to be his own demise. He's going to be the reason why he gets kicked off D-Live. The other thing is, if it's the first one, while Ethan Ralph is being watched by everybody, he's not going to really have that pill stream moment. He's getting there. He's getting close. But... As long as people watch on him, watch him, he's going to try to hold things together as much as possible. So maybe saying, hey, you know what, peace deal, or make a peace, or we're not going to dunk on this guy anymore, dab on this guy, maybe that's when things are really going to start crumbling, okay? We'll see. If it's the second thing, have the gun guard fold and turn on Ethan Ralph, well, you're not going to get Gator, okay? But you got Mr. Mediker. Ethan Ralph's father figure to pretty much turn on him, okay? While he didn't make that uh, that that original video, the deep fake, the cancerless Jim deep fake, he did approve it. A ten out of ten, a ten out of ten. If you add the actual real life stresses, stressors, and uh, Ethan Ralph's life, the eighteen year old bride, uh, bride, bride that has mental issues and a uh, a very expensive hospital bill that the parents are not going to pay for. And she's pregnant, so there's going to be more hospital bills on top of that. There's going to be a child, which is, costs a lot of money. I, I, I have two. I could tell you how much they cost. Uh, it's going to take a lot more than Ethan Ralph's uh, pills to... Uh, I'm sorry, Ethan Ralph's pills. It's going to take a lot more than D-Live, D-Live Lemons, to pay for a child. Okay. I think the stressors are there. I think you could step away and watch him implode. But what's going to happen? Is it really a peace deal? We're not, this is not a unified front. Okay? I, I don't really know any of these people else that are you know, laughing at Ethan Ralph. I, I do it because I find it funny. I like watching a dumpster fire. Uh, I used to be a fan of the kill stream. Uh, I think it's hilarious to see Ethan Ralph crumble like this. You can't host internet blood sports and expect empathy. You can't expect empathy to be turned to you, to, to be given to you when it's your turn. Nope. You made your bed. You die in it. I mean, you, you lie in it. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah. But let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. And Matt Jarbo, what's going to happen with this stuff um i'll save my comments about the the boulder radio for another video or maybe a live stream but y'all take it easy y'all have a good one